Wherever we go this weekend, there's old blokes coming out to celebrate at rugby clubs. And down by the beach at St Clair, the Kaikarai Rugby Club, that's the trotting track. Alhambra Union, let me tell you, are not a young club either. And you know there's a big do coming up when you see a tent that size. It's not a circus, and I tell you what, I've trained here, and like I might be from the north, and I might not have much fat on me, Mace, but it can get bitter here. I'll tell you what, if you go down there, take your winter woolies. These guys may be harder men than me, mind you. Soft. Soft. Yeah, sorry about that, all you the need nights down there. You probably stood there in your shorts, T-shirt, and watched the game of footy there. There's a bloke in his shorts in the background there, I can see. Because I even know a great man called Sean Fitzpatrick who's gone out there and taped up his socks with you know, the old Woolworths bag just to keep the old feet warm. We didn't go to the tights though like uh, a Huey did. <laughs> and the little gloves. They the caused gloves. a ruckus, those gloves. I remember that. It would just pass over the tights, but I remember those gloves. Alan Hewson turned out in a test match. Was it here in Dunedin or was it, it in Wellington? No, it was here, it was in, here Dunedin. in Dunedin. With little, you know, those little fingerless mittens on. Well, the, the what do you call them? The IRB went ballistic about it. They investigated every possible law that they had about who could wear what and couldn't find anything to stop young Huey. Gee, look at it. It's willing in there, isn't it? Maybe the old fours keep themselves warm. Homo. Kick and chase. Oh, oh, gee, that's a good try. How many tries have we seen tonight in Toyota Grassroots Rugby resulting from a kick? Well, Johnny Palmau, look at this. It's absolutely on the button, just goes over the defender and only just. And Peter Breen picks it up and goes in under the post. First try for the fullback. Simple conversion. And Alhambra Union ahead by 10 to nil. Kaikarai won't be liking this. The old guys are here for the 125th anniversary. They didn't come to watch their team get beaten. And I'll just pick up on this sort of kick chase game we're seeing so much of in rugby today and seeing so much of tonight on the programme. The job description of the winger is actually changing very similar to a fullback. So if you're a young winger out there, practice your high ball catching and just not four or five after training. 50 is 60 after training because I tell you, you'll become a fullback very soon. That back three position, they are interchangeable. Yep, they just rotate around the back three. A Russian rotating defensive system, I once heard it called. I've got no idea why. I don't know what the Russians had to do with it, but the rotating defensive system is absolutely correct. Oh, into the clear goes Alambra's Khan Heska. Yeah, good strength, good power, isn't it? And the forwards link up. Oh, gee, this is great play. Ewan, Ewan towards the line. Can't quite get there. But look at the support he's got. It's red jerseys all the way. Somebody surely out here got is going to find themselves in space. Surely. In the end, it's Wayne Gibson who gets in. But it could have been any of half a dozen who scored that try for Alhambra. And they're up 15, love. Yeah, well, let's highlight, I mean, the start... Kane Hesketh, well, he's got a lot of strength and power, hasn't he? Played Super 14 rugby down the wing. But let's highlight for you Mitch Yu and the big lock forward who comes into support about now. No, next pass, about now. And then, look, the line is open. It's all his. The yeah, glory is his, but he knew he wasn't going to make it. So this is the beauty of the lock forward. Just pulled it for the team, set the ball up, knew they had huge numbers out wide. Now, that is unselfish play. That is great game sense. Well done, Mitch Ewan. And the winger's going to get the spoils. But I'm going to give all the credit to my lock. Do you see all the support for him? Is that biased? Single, yeah, only a little bit. Only a wee bit. I, was just, I wasn't going to mention it, actually. <laughs> I was just going to let it pass by. Kaikarai have a shot here. They've got a chance at something. Now, what's the referee spotted in here? Front row's going down deliberately. Well, is it's it? up to you to yeah. analyse the scrum. What happened there? Yep, the uh, Kaikarai tighthead, the uh, uh, Alhambra tighthead prop, number three there. You can see him, Jonathan Doreen, down straight onto his knees. Well, I think the excuse would have come up. There was mud on my sprigs and I slipped. Bad luck. 15-3, should have cleaned them out before the scrum. Kaikarai, on the board, need to be. Those guys are with me. They know it's cold. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah, and the sun's just dipped down behind the hills, which hasn't helped. Now, he's been very prominent today, hasn't he, Dane Maraki? And here's your man again, Mitch Ewan, charging towards the line again, gets plenty of support from the forwards, and now the backs get a chance, and in the far corner goes Khan Hesketh. Yes, try to Hesketh. Well, the forwards again. Gee, they're playing well for Alhambra. They're playing real well out there in the loose and setting things up. Dane Maraki, Mitch Ewan, and the number six, Wahari Waitohi. They're all involved right through this game. Look at them all there. Yeah, good example coming up on the Carter's Rural Replay about the foundation. And look, Mace, it's not rocket science. We're not inventing anything new here. The foundations that's laid by the forward, uh, forward produce the tries out by the backs, isn't there? And that's just simple ABC of rugby. Some wobbly old passes, maybe working on their left hand pass at training this week would be a good tip for the coach. Yeah, left hand under. Mm. Very strong. It's a true story, isn't it, that left wingers score a lot more tries than right wingers. And that's simply because naturally people find it easier to pass to the right, to the left, get their right hand under. And you know what normally happens in practice, and this is a funny thing, you practice the things you're good at, yeah. which is passing on the yeah. right hand yeah. side. While at training and practice, you've got to put yourself out of that comfort zone and actually work hard on your weaknesses and make them your strengths. Hesketh making ground down the right wing side. Here he is again, Ewan. This time he stands in the tackle and presents it for the support player, Waitohi, who rips it clear and gets it back away from the Kaikarai forwards. Kaikarai really just struggling to get their hands on the ball really to be quite honest Bryson takes it ahead he can see the goal line he's not going to make it but there's plenty of support there for him again and they roll it over and again huge numbers out left it's going Gibson's way again I reckon oh nope. that's terrific play again Clutterbuck it is Matt Clutterbuck the captain who goes in about a million years ago, there was a guy called Gus Clutterbuck who played for um, Counties. I wonder if Matthew's any relation. He's the captain of Alhambra Union, and he scores the try after some good work here by the outside backs setting it up this time. It's relentless pressure at the moment, isn't it? They really are just pouring it all in there, but they're not losing the game structure, I think, Alhambra, which is very good. They're doing the basics well, which is keep on going down through the middle when they have the opportunity. The holes are opening up there. I thought they had numbers out left. They didn't need them. The big holes were in the middle. Very easy too, isn't it, when you get a lead like this, just to get your game structure, get a bit loose. Even try to be the superstar. Off the back of the scrum goes Farai Mol. Nice step. Yep, this is Khan Hesketh again. This time, no. He's getting closer. Bit of de deja vu though, isn't it? Down the right hand wing. Throw the numbers out left through the middle. Palmo going close to the goalpost. Perhaps this time we'll release the backs out wide. Yes, we will. Wide pass in the clear. And the try is scored by Wayne Gibson. Well, it's just inevitable, isn't it? Alhambra Union, boy, they're looking strong today. They're just... Kaikara just aren't getting a look in. Well, uh, Alhambra are doing the basics well. They're sucking in enough numbers at the breakdown to create opportunities out wide. Now, if they'd lost their game structure and pass, 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 when well, it's easy for the defenders just to spread out and mark up. But when you suck in the numbers, there has to be opportunities. And Gibson, what's it's his double, isn't it? Two for the day, ten points. Not a bad return. It's not a bad return at all. Tough kick. He's going to miss it. You reckon? Ooh, we're only just. just. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't quite willing to take you on on that. It's a big win, isn't it, to Alhambra Union? 32 points to three. They're very happy. They've spoilt Kaikarai's 125th celebration party, but still, Kaikarai got every reason to celebrate. 125 years is worth a lot more than just one game. Yeah, no, we're happy with that one. So, the, yeah, big game today, so no, we're happy with that result. Sure yeah. Happy. And, um, a big occasion as well. Uh, yeah, it's sort of well, my last game for the club, which is sort of going to be a hard club to leave, but um, I've always stepped up today. But also, it's the, you know, the amalgamation came in 87, and it was a Lambert's 125th year as well, so we couldn't really forget that today, hence the jersey.